Hello there, the modding process for this game is actually surprisingly easy. Now all you gotta do is go to this link, the link is in the description below, and then make sure to download AW Custom Launcher. All you gotta do is click on it, and the download should start. I'll go ahead and save it on my downloads file. And then what I would suggest is to just control X, in other words, cut this file like this. After this, you need to find where AEW Fight Forever is installed on your PC. Easiest way you can do it here is on Steam. Right click on AEW Fight Forever, go to manage, browse local files. You should get hit with this. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to AEW Fight Forever, then click on binaries, then click on Win64, and then you're going to see something like this. Now, all you got to do is control V. In other words, get this custom launcher in this file. You got to launch your game with this every time if you want your mods to work. Here's a quick suggestion. Right click on this, show more options, and create a shortcut. And then take the shortcut, paste it onto your desktop, and maybe you can leave it here. Could even rename it to AW Fight Forever Offline. That way you don't have to do this right here every single time when you want to open up the game. So when you're done with this, just back out twice. One, two, click on content, click on packs. This is what you're going to see. And what you want to do is create a brand new file so you can right click and then go ahead, new folder. And you want to name this folder this. Make sure to get this here as well. If you don't know how to type this character, again, look at the description. You can just copy paste the name. Then after that point, all you got to do is go on Nexus mods, progressing mods, download one of the mods that you fancy. I've gone ahead and downloaded the Bloodline mod pack. Here it is in my downloads. Open this up with WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever you like. And then take these bad boys here, copy them maybe, and then put them in here. And that's literally it. So yeah, it's really that easy, but let's test and see if the mods work now. I'm gonna use the shortcut I just made. There we go. This might come up. All you gotta do is more info, run anyway. And you should only have to do this once after that. It shouldn't show up again. So you'll see the title screen, press enter, and this is when you'll know it worked. It will ask you to sign into Epic Games, you'll say no, and then you must be connected to AW Fight for Online Systems, yada yada. You're gonna say, yes, I wanna start this in offline mode. And... We're in, there we go. So let's go ahead and try to create Roman Reigns real, real quick. Uh, wrestler, new male wrestler. If you're seeing this, this is normal. This is the way it's supposed to be. What you want to do here, at least for this specific mod, is you want to go to profile first, face, get rid of the hair, ring attire, get rid of the wrist tapes and all that. Do the exact same thing for the lower body. And if I remember correctly, the mods should show up here. So there we go. We got Roman Reigns, Jey Uso. And then for the right knee, we got Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. So it replaces an item. So instead of one knee pad, we got the entirety of Roman Reigns here. And there he is. There's the Tribal Chief in all his glory. Right there. Let's get a close up. <laughs> you can go back to the profile, name him anything you need, change the body type and all that. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we can even add like... <laughs> like a hat. There you go. If you wanted Roman Reigns to wear a hat, now you can do it. And this looks pretty good too. Like, you can't do this with official wrestlers, but hey, for Roman Reigns, it works. I mean, <laughs> it kind of does. It's not, obviously, it's not perfect, but hey. Well, let me not forget about the entrance attire. So for that, you got to go to the jackets and you'll see Roman Reigns with his entrance attire. Or if you want Solo Sokoa coming out with the towel, there you go. You have it too. So I hope this was helpful. I've always shied away from modding wrestling games because I thought they'd be so difficult, so much effort, but I'm, yeah, that's literally all you gotta do. And you got Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Roman Reigns. They're looking pretty good too. Not to mention they even have hair physics. And even more importantly, week one is barely over and this is the quality we're getting as far as mods go. So sky's the limit if you're still watching this please give this video a like it will help me out a lot with the algorithm until then take care because i'll see you on the next one